hello guys and welcome as you can see on my screen with an error message boot mgr image is corrupted the system cannot boot with this issue you might think that your windows is corrupted meanwhile it is not in a case when you even try to install a new operating system it will still give you the same error message without wasting much time let's solve this problem when you have a message on your screen like this either desktop or laptop the first thing you have to do is to check your ram which is the memory on the pc first remove the ram and clean it and even the ram slots clean that too if they are two ram on your computer remove all of them and try them individually on the pc power the pc off and locate where your ram slots are and remove all of them from the computer After removing them, clean both RAMs and even the RAM slot as I earlier on said. So use a rack, a tissue paper or a brush to clean all that. Once you are done cleaning them, so you have to test them individually on the PC. Test them one by one. To see the faulty one so as you can see I've just removed both and now I'm testing one so let's try it to power on the machine and see how it's going to behave and as you can see as I was saying even now the first RAM is not displaying, there is no display on the screen. So now the next, the next step is to try the other RAM to see how it's also going to behave. So in a case like this, so power off the machine and then try, we try with the other RAM to see how it's also going to behave. Wow, and this one has displayed. Just this message on the screen is the CMOS battery which is down so we can press F1 to proceed and as you can see we have detected the faulty RAM which is the first RAM we tested. You can upgrade the RAM by buying a new one. Link will be in the description if you want to purchase a new one. Or if this is okay with you and the PC is not slow you can maintain it so guys that is how to solve this boot manager error prompt and in case if both ramps didn't work from your side when you try them individually replace it with a new working ram and try it again if it works normal hope this video was helpful if there is any question leave it in the comment section and i'll try my possible best to answer all that and like and subscribe if you are new here see you on our next video on screen